Okay, so I just went to an AMC on screening again. But this time, it was a Scream version. Which means a horror movie. And that horror movie is Out of the Darkness. Let's talk about it. Okay, so Out of the Darkness, the new horror thriller that is coming to theaters, was the unseen, unscreened movie. And I tell you what, look, I remember seeing this trailer multiple times, and I was actually intrigued by this idea. You know, to go back in time to 45,000 years ago, to when we were just running around in basically leather diapers, you know, murdering anything, you know, just basically being cavemen. That's, that's really what we were back then. To have them come up against a force of nature like a demon was just absolutely, I was there. I'm like, yeah, that, I want to see that because we've seen how we do it now. But what about our ancestors? What about the people that came way before us? How do they tackle those same demons? So I was really intrigued to see that. And I was just like, when it was on, I was just like, yes, let's do this. But this movie's not perfect, I'll tell you that. And it's a tough one for me because there's, there's things I absolutely loved about this movie that worked really, really well for me. And then there's other things that I kind of question some of the decisions they made. And also there's some pacing issues in here. So let's start off with the good. Some of the stuff I really enjoyed is the actual horror elements in this movie. Now, when they get to the point where this thing is chasing them, hunting them, you know, doing that sort of stuff, I felt like those scenes were the strongest of in the whole entire movie. I thought they actually nailed that dread feeling. They absolutely nailed you being in that moment, feeling like I need to look over their shoulders for them. Whenever a movie or a show does that and makes you feel like you're in with them trying to like, figure out where this thing is to look for them, it worked. Like that That just means you, you're doing it well. And then, you know, they create the suspense. They create the tension. And then it's, the score absolutely 100% helps it in this film. When that score comes in, you get that dread feeling. The score is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it hits the perfect notes that makes you feel the emotion that you're supposed to feel during that scene. If you're supposed to feel fear, you start to feel that dread. You feel that suspense, anxiety. You feel that. So to me, those scenes were absolutely fantastic. And I love the way it was shot. With them in there, you know, trying to figure out because it's pitch black. The only thing you have is the fire in the middle of them. And I like how they shot it with the orange coming around. So you could see everyone, but beyond them, you couldn't see anything else. It was just pitch black. So when this thing is making this creepy ass noises and running around, it just elevates the scene even more because you can't see it. And you're like, that's just how you shoot this top sort of horror. And it works. It absolutely works. There's also some great, great effects. There's this one kill that happens to one of the characters and the jaw is just absolutely brutal. It, it's just brutal. And I'm sitting there looking at it, I'm like, that's what I came to see. So that there is a lot of blood and gore and like some of the kills in here are very brutal and that's what you come to see when you come to see this type of movie. So I, I enjoyed that aspect of it. Some of the stuff I didn't enjoy is I felt like the characters weren't quite flushed out. Now there's a the whole idea is they move from one place to another place. They cross the the um ocean, the river, whatever, they cross water to get to this point, but it's never expanded upon to why they left that place. We don't actually know. And I feel like knowing that more more of that backstory to why they did it and why Adam is so driven to actually get them across here and to get them to this new land would have enhanced them. Because the characters to me are very much one dimensional and I couldn't really, you know, get on board with them and like support them and feel like, yes, I want them to survive. I want them to win. I want them to kill this thing. I want them to live and flourish. I never got that. And it's a shame because I I like to connect with characters like that, especially in horror movies. I like to connect with our main sort of cast so that I'm rooting for them and I'm like on board. And when things like crap hits the fan, I'm sitting there like, oh my God, man, I'm shocked. This person's dead. I, I, I can feel it. I didn't feel that. I really didn't feel that. And there's a couple of reveals in this movie as well that the big one at the end, I'm kind of a bit disappointed in. Well, to be honest, I, I am. Because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so I'm not going to tell you what the what the reveal or anything is. But I just... 
it just took away something from this film for me. That final act did. Because I'm just sitting there and when that reveal happens, I was just like, why? Why are we, why? Why, why do we do that? So that kind of hurt me as well, and it's just, oh. it's frustrating. It is frustrating because I like the idea and the concept behind the film, but then, that man, that third act just kind of just fell flat. It really did. And there are scenes in, look, th this has major pacing issues. This film has huge pacing issues. It's only an hour and a half long, but man, did it feel longer than that? And I can tell you why it felt longer than that. Because old mate next to me was falling asleep. He was legit falling asleep watching this movie. And I don't blame him because the whole first bit, it's very slow. It is very slow build up. And it would have been better if they actually developed the characters within that first particular act. If they actually dove into the characters, gave us a bit more of a little backstory to them. You know, give us a bit of something to like, don't reveal everything, but give us a little bit. Just like, you know, some breadcrumbs that have to hold on to. They didn't really do that. With the character, so it it just build and build, and they walk. It's just them walking constantly, and then when they finally get to the place where this thing is, then it starts to pick up. But after the events of something happens, there's like blocks after the events happen, where nothing really happens, and it kind of takes away from the film. It's frustrating. This this is a frustrating film because I feel like there is something there. There is a really, really good film there that could be like absolutely fantastic. That I feel like just some of the choices and decisions they made just kind of held it back for me. Now, I must say the cinematography though. Cinematography, some of the shots were absolutely gorgeous. There's this upside down shot that I thought was absolutely spectacular. I was like, damn, that looks freaking insane. Like there are some really, really good shots on the location. I think... The way that they picked this location was great, and then the way that they shot some of the scenes was was absolutely incredible. Like I said, the the scenes whenever the things around them and you just have the pitch black shot absolutely fantastic. That was all great to me. There is some like you know issues with special effects. Like there's obviously you have the northern lights in the sky, and it's it doesn't look real. But I expected that because of the budget of this film. I don't expect it to be Star Wars level where you're like, oh, damn, that's freaking 100% real, surely. So I don't expect that. that and that, and that's fine. And that's fine. It didn't take me out of the movie. You know, there's just some moments like that. But overall, to me, Out of the Darkness was a movie I was excited for. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. I was excited for this. I looked forward to it after I saw the trailer. I was like, this, this is right up my alley. But after coming out of it, there's things I love about it. Things that I thought worked really well. And then there's things that just fell flat for me and just didn't work. So for me, it's kind of in a bit of a like a, it's a head on clash right now with the things I love and things I hate. It's not one I'm going out to rush, you know, rush out to go and watch again. But look, man, it was okay. It was okay. But let me know what you guys thought. If you guys went and saw it, smash down in the comment section below your thoughts. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.